What's going on YouTube? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Hope everyone's doing well. How you guys doing? Hope you're all doing the best you can, enjoying your comics, enjoying your year, making the most out of your life. Truly hoping for the best for you all. Today we're going to go through another book that I recently reread. With this being the year of custom binds, I had to reread some of my custom binds, starting off right from the top. And uh, today I'm going to talk about a custom bind that I have for a character I think we all love, Moon Knight. This is the Max Bemis run, one of the most, I think it's the most recent run on Moon Knight, um, which I had custom bound. This collected, I think it was issues 187 through 200. We will obviously, 188 through 200, we'll obviously look at it from the top down view, all that fun stuff. But what I've been doing, if you're new to the channel, Subscribe first off and foremost this is what we do on a regular basis multiple times a week in fact That's the word on the street anyway, but what we're doing this year This is the year of custom binds Matt and I are going to be doing I think he's all he's close to triple digits when it comes to how many binds um, He's possibly going to do this year. I'm definitely not far off like at least 50 this year I, I could potentially do um, but We're trying to make the most out of these custom binds of course. I love my custom binds very very dearly um, if you have custom binds that you want to show off to the rest of the world, hit us up at our email, thehardcovercomic at gmail.com. Send us pictures, send us videos. We're going to showcase them all. Um, we don't know when we're going to do it, but we might, we're going to do it periodically throughout the year, probably every quarter. We'll do a nice presentation showing all the new graphic um, designs and all the custom binds that people have sent us for um, images for and videos for. So please send that to us at our email, thehardcovercomic at gmail.com. We do also have a Patreon if you guys are interested in that. At the end of every month, we do a hardcover comic giveaway, omnibus, absolute, deluxe editions, brand new books for you to win for as little as a dollar a month. You get a chance every month to win a brand new hardcover comic. Um, we do also give you early access to these videos and we give away Marvel Comics digital codes once in a while. Um, check that out, patreon.com forward slash the hardcover comic. Let's get into the Year of the Custom Bind reread, Moon Knight, Max Bemis. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this little custom bind here. So, um, I don't know what you guys are thinking. What's Mike doing talking about a Marvel title? We don't, you know, we, we don't dislike Marvel. Just Matt and I, we found that DC seems to have the books that we enjoy far more. But Moon Knight is one of my ride or die characters. Moon Knight is a character whose stories I will always check out. Um, and this run was the Max Bemis run, which I think happened in like 2018. It was sort of when Marvel was starting back up with this Marvel legacy idea, going back to original numberings for a lot of titles. Um, and so it started off with issue 188, went all the way up through 200. Um, great stuff, great stuff all the way through. The thing that attracted me the most, that got me most excited about this title was the Jason Burroughs artwork. He had done Providence with Alan Moore at this point over at Avatar Press, and I loved his work on Providence. Um, and his Moon Knight is excellent. I love Jason Burroughs' Moon Knight, it's great. I wish he had gotten to actually draw more action sequences and more... Um, although he did draw quite a few action sequences, I wish he got to do a bit more on it. Um, obviously his artwork is very crisp, very detailed, so it takes time and, you know, month to month you gotta do what you gotta do, you gotta keep the, keep pushing the content out. But what Max Bemis does with the story, it's very tough to follow someone like Je Jeff Lemire with what he did on the, the, the character was spectacular, um, really diving into the, um, dissociative disorder that, um, you know, he deals with in the multiple personality disorder that, um, Mark Spector deals with as a character. But what Max Bemis does is that's really cool. He sort of expands on the mythology of Khonshu, um, and this sort of Egyptian lore behind Moon Knight. And, um, he do, you get to see Ra a little bit in here. It's very cool. And then he also, uh, in this other storyline with, um, I believe it's I forget. I forget. I want to say Peter Davidson, but that's uh, very close to, to a celebrity. But I think that's the artist's name. Um, either way, he he does a story arc that's even a little crazier. Um, that sort of dives into you know what would happen if everyone in in the world was trying to become one collective thing, and everyone was living in this being that you know everyone had their own little universe within it. Things like that. Um, very fun, creative ideas. Really diving into the whole mental disorder thing. Um, which I really thought was well well done. The artwork is great all the way throughout. The style is very different between Davidson and Jason Burroughs, but I didn't mind it. I didn't mind the switch up. It made sense for the stories that were being presented. Uh, Max Bemis does add some more elements into Mark Spector's life. 
Um, you get to explore again sort of his history a little more, Mark Spector's, along with the other characters that he's got within him, Jake Langley and uh, Stephen Grant, um, which is very fun. I, I really like this idea that's happened, and I really like the kind of stories that can come out of it. They get really crazy and creative, um, very mental, very psychological, and uh, I really liked it. I thought Max Bemis did a good job, not as good as Jeff Lemire, but he had some really fun ideas. Um, and he made it funny too. I thought the book was really funny. There were plenty of times where I found myself laughing, but a lot of dark humor, sure, for sure. But, um, you know, you got to take your humor where you can get it. I really liked it. If you like Moon Knight as a character, I would recommend this run. It's definitely better than the Bendis run. Um, so, uh, very, very far from being the worst Moon Knight story out there. What'd you guys think? Have you read Max Bemis' run on Moon Knight? I haven't heard many people talk about this run. Um, of course, I've heard many things about the Jeff Lemire run, Warren Ellis... Charlie Huston, all those runs. I haven't heard anything about the Max Bemis run. What did you think? Would you custom bind it? Did you think it was worthy of a custom bind? Are you interested in checking it out now? Um, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know what you think about Moon Knight in general um, down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. This is what we do regularly. We have a Patreon as well. For those of you interested, as little as a dollar a month, you have the chance to win a brand new hardcover comic. That's an omnibus, an absolute, a library edition. We're not talking about little, small, premier hardcovers. We're talking about the big boy baddies. Um, check out our Patreon for that. We do also give you early access to these videos on there as well for as little as a dollar a month. And not only that, we give away Marvel digital codes when we get them once in a while. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. Hope you guys are all doing well. If you're not, wish you all the best in getting better and making life a better thing for yourself. Thank you all. Until next time, as always, you say classy internet.